Hi guys, my name is Nhajini Nalsari and you're watching another tutorial on C programming and today I'll be talking about the memory layout in the C language. So the main memory or the RAM is divided into five main parts. So I'm going to divide this into five segments. So at the top, this is the heap portion of the memory. And after that, the second portion is the stack portion of the memory and the third portion is the uninitialized uninitialized data segment and the fourth portion is initialized data segment initialized data segment and finally the fifth portion is the code or text so in the first portion the top the heap this is where all the dynamic memory allocation takes place so this portion of the memory right here this is where dynamic memory allocation takes place and the static portion this is where the static memory allocation takes place so memory allocation that happens at the compile time that uh, that allocation is called static allocation and static allocation takes place in the static portion of the main memory and I'm going to be talking about this in my next tutorial when I give you an example of a program. So the third portion is the uninitialized data segment. So in your program if you define a static or global variable but you do not initialize it that means either you leave it zero or you do not initialize it at all. So that those variables are stored inside the uninitialized data segment. So the fourth portion is the initialized data type segment and this is simply where you this is simply where the static and global variables that have been initialized are stored. So they are stored in this portion and the fifth portion of your main memory is the code or text portion and you already know that your program is the source code it is written in English so the compiler converts the source code into ones and zeros so those ones and zeros those machine language those ones and zeros are stored inside this portion of your main memory so the instructions or the statements inside your source code are first converted by the compiler into ones and zeros and these ones and zeros these machine language these digits are all stored inside the code text portion of the main memory so this is all it about the layout of the memory in the c language and in my next tutorial i'm going to give you an example of a program using this layout so thanks for watching this video